and there we go. So um, for this first part, we're just going to be doing kind of our normal warm up here. We have a lot of equipment here. I know it's all kind of everywhere on that one, but um, for this year, we're just going to go with our first one being our arm circles. So you just want to go with those big arm circles forward. And let's go backwards here. There we go, good. Let's go front and back here now. Nice and loose with the arms. There we go. Let's have those arms out to the side and we just drill into the elbow, getting that twist side to side here. There we go, good. So with this one here, um, we're going to start you off kind of right away on this, but this is just going to go for our same amount of time. This will go for about 45, 45 seconds on this one. And what we're going to do is get our one weight. This is going to be a deadlift or a good morning, however you have the weight. So I have a few dumbbells here and they can't necessarily see those here. Sorry about that. But I have a few dumbbells here and um, what we're going to do, I want to go more of the deadlift uh, variation of this one. So we're just going just right here. Think of that as a hip hinge and then coming on up. If you have a bar or if you have anything that you can use on your back, uh, you can go with more of a good morning. That just sets the weight a little bit further away from your center so that you feel more of that in your lower back versus your legs. Um, if you're doing the deadlift, you're going to feel that more so in your legs here in the hamstrings. But um, I'm just going to grab those weights. I'm going to get our clock started. I'm going to make sure that it is up and running. So here we go. So this is going right now with that first one going with our deadlift here. So just going hip and back, slide bend in the knee, and then coming on up. Feel that lengthening out in the hamstrings as you work on through here. And you'll notice sometimes that you may not necessarily be able to get as far as you'd like if your hamstrings are really tight. And this is just kind of a further way to get things nice and loosened up. We're going to go down to the ground, ground going down to the mat here once we get done with this first one. There we go. Good. No, that one's really loud. Sorry about that. But um, we're going to go down to your mat. And with this one, we can take just one of those weights. We're going to be on our back. All right, so just being on your back here, take that one weight, and we have a couple different positions we're going to hold it in. All right, so our first one, we're going to hold it right here, and we're just going to tap each foot forward. All right, so you don't have to necessarily tap it, you can even just hover it right like that, and then we're going to hold the weight up overhead. If that bothers you to hold it up over your head this way, just stay with it over your chest. All right. So here we go. So this first half is going to be at our chest here. Go ahead and begin. That clock is rolling. So just tabletop in your feet. Starting it off right here. So again, tabletop in your feet is going to keep your lower back in check as you work your way through. Almost to that midpoint. Here we go. So now we just hold that weight going right away, holding it up overhead. Really use your core on this one. Yeah. 
There we go. Good. So this one here, we'll take both of those weights. It's going to be a chest fly. It's still tabletop on this feet. You can also keep them just firmly on the ground, just right like this. So we're just going with that chest fly here. Going both arms first. It's going up and down. Really feel that lengthening out in the chest. Big squeeze as you bring it back to that starting point. Again, you can also tabletop your feet right here. Keeping those up. This will again keep your lower back in check as you work through. Still going through this the second half the same way. Last few squeezes here. There we go. Good. So this one here, we take one weight again. We're going to be going with a sit up here just with that one weight. Use the weight to help you kind of get up. Slowly release your weight down. So you can go with your feet extended or together like this. I'm going to go with mine more extended. But we're just going with one arm, slowly releasing back down. So right there. Nice and slow, nice and controlled. Really use that core to slow yourself down. You can orient the weight however you need to as you release. Use it as a momentum to help you get up, slowly releasing on the way down. There we go, good. So this one's gonna be in that same arm. Again, you can tabletop or you leave your feet here, but this is alternating. That crossbody tricep in this arm, and then go with the inline tricep. So go ahead and begin. So this is just going with that same arm, holding the weight. Remember, you can stabilize with the opposite hand as you work through it. You can also, again, tabletop the speed if you're looking for a little more core work as you work through these. Otherwise, we're down on the ground, keeping our feet solid. There we go, good. So we're gonna switch this up, opposite hand here. So again, just going with that sit up, up and down, just using that one arm with your straight leg or with those legs bent. Here we go. Just going on up. Slowly again, releasing back down. Keep this going over that halfway portion. Nice and slow, nice and slow to the ground. That's good. There we go. Good. Again, quickly going to crossbody tricep. And the inline tricep, alternating on this one arm. Here we go. Go ahead and begin. Okay, going cross body here. Inline tricep there. Just holding on to that weight again. You can also tabletop those feet to get that core work in here. And also, again, if you need to, you can stabilize with the opposite arm at the elbow as you work through this move. You're over halfway through it. There we go, good. So we worked our way through that one. We're gonna go back to, just to wrap this up, we're going to back to our tabletop feet. Going just right here, extending those arms, or not arms, legs out. Just going right here. Second half, we will go overhead with that weight if you'd like. Or again, you can just kind of keep this at the chest.
Looking good. Going overhead now. You can almost kind of cradle the weight as you work your way through it. After this, we'll take a little bit of a break, shake things up, and we'll go back to standing. There we go. Good job. So we made it through those. All right, so take a moment here. Shake your arms out. And we are going to be standing back up for this one. If you do have kettlebells, we can use the kettlebells for this next section. This is going to be with our deadlifts, going with both legs, and then again, we kind of single things out. Similar to what we were doing down here. Um, my feet fell out there. But um, yeah, this is just going to be going with that deadlift. This is again going to be going with that one kettlebell. Since I have this at my disposal, you can always do this with your weights here still. No problem with that one, but this is just going to be our straight up deadlift here. So going with our hip set back and then coming on up, right? We're going a little bit further than what I went. So here we go. This is going to go back on the clock and let's begin. Clock is going. So again, always think about your back. So your hips back here, slight bend in the knee and coming on up. Allow your head to kind of tilt with this, making sure we don't do one of these. You want to keep our neck and that pressure off of our spine in our cervical region. So we want to keep everything in line. And remember, if you can't go as far as you'd like, that is totally fine. If you feel that stretch or that lengthening out back behind the knee quicker, that is all right. You'll probably notice that you'll get better with this as you get more in. There we go, good. So this one's just gonna be a, a Kogo deadlift is what I call it. So right leg is back, nice and solid on our left foot, still doing a deadlift here. So here we go. So lightly on our right foot. Solid foot flat on our left. And there's still a slight bend in this knee as I go through it. If you gotta stay working with it here all the way through. I'm gonna switch this up to the opposite leg once you get done here. 10 seconds till we get there. Keep that same form. There we go, good. Take a moment, shake these up. This is gonna go with the opposite side here now. In that same exact thing, so going with. Our right foot now being solid, left foot on the ground. Here we go. Let him begin. So again, you'll probably get a better profile of my leg. I still sit my hips back. I still have that slight bend in my knee. Oops. Looking good over halfway. Last few seconds. There we go, good. So this is just gonna be now, sumo now, either with those dumbbells or with this kettlebell. So now I'm just going up and down in the sumo. Here we go. So we're up and down here. Right like that. You're making sure those knees kind of track right with the toes. Make sure we're not moving too far forward with our hips. Just sitting right down, right up. Looking good here. There we go, good. So we're gonna move back down to the mat here. Take a moment, shake some things up. But this is just gonna be a bird dog. So if you do have a weight, if you have a really light weight, I would say you can use that one. Um, as far as weights go, you don't necessarily need them. 
what we're going to do is just go with that one hand. So our right hand is going to go out as our left foot goes back. All right, so go out like this and then back in. All right, so this is just going to work our trunk, also our core here. All right, so we're working the entire trunk on this one. So here we go. This is going to go with our lower back a little bit more too. And here we go. This is going to go just the right arm and the left leg first. Back to that starting position. Out. Really extend it out and kind of even put a pause and back in. Let me get halfway, still stand on this side. Last few seconds left here, you're under 10. There we go, good. Take a moment, shake those up. We're gonna go to the opposite side. Again, that same thing, but now it's left hand, right foot. Here we go. Again, getting a good pause at the top of this move. Just feel everything kind of squeezed together on that. Looking good, halfway through it. Squeeze and hold. Back to starting. There we go. Good. Made it through that one. All right. So with this next one here, we can be still kneeing down on the ground. We can also go with one knee here. But all we're going to do is take our arms and isolate them, okay? So with our arms, all we're gonna do is go into a bit of a press. So you can go with your legs kind of right here, or you're just gonna be right like that, pressing these out. And we're just gonna go alternating with a wide press here. And here we go. This is on the clock. It's going right here with a wide press. One arm, then the other, then both. Just going right there, one arm, then the other, then both. Good looking, good here. Keep this going. There we go, good. So we're gonna take a break from that, shake those out. This is gonna be a open curl, that same thing, one arm, then the other, then both. Still on our knee here. Here we go. There's one arm, then the other, then both. So again, we're just kind of taking those knees out, or taking those legs out, going right like this. You can do this standing if it feels better. But this one here, I just really want to try to isolate out those arms. I'm going to go back to our press right after this, just a different variation. Under 10 on this one. There we go. Good. So this is going to be a narrow press. All right, so narrow press, keeping those weights in line with our shoulders. In three, two, one, and here we go. So just going one arm, then the other, then both. Just going right there. I kind of like to go on the knees here too, just because it tends to keep our lower back in better position. We aren't really necessarily extending all the way through using our hips to go all the way through that movement. So that keeps our lower back 
with less curvature. Oftentimes, I feel like if you're down on the ground like this, you'll lean back, but you won't necessarily get that curve as much. Last few seconds, then we go to that hammer curl. There we go, good. So this one's just gonna go down, shake those arms out. This is gonna go hammer curl, same position. Three, two, one. So just going one arm, then the other, then both. Looking good here. Keep this going. You're over that halfway portion. There we go, good. So this is gonna be a little bit of the same thing. I like to go with the knee up on this one because you bend it over. It's gonna be a wide row just to start the soft foot. Elbows out. So they one arm, kind of shape of a diagonal. One arm, then the other, then both. Just going right there. If that does bother you, you can also do it this way. One arm, then the other, then both. Under 20 here. There we go, good. Take a minute, shake those out. This is gonna go with a kickback, one arm, then the other, then both. Same position here. Here we go. Let's switch up these knees in plan. So going one arm, then the other, and both. It's going right back, right back. Looking good here. Keep this going. Halfway through it. Down to 10, 10 seconds left here. There we go, good. Narrow row, one arm, then the other, then both, okay? Here we go, this is gonna go on the clock in three, two, one, and here we go. One arm, then the other. Both draw those elbows back. Really good squeeze there. Looking good here. Keep this going. Good squeezes. There we go, good. So this is gonna take us down to the ground for our final ones here. All right, so what this will look like, this is gonna be more so for our sides for our four. So we just wanna start off on one side, doesn't matter which one you start off, but this is just gonna go one leg, or both legs in the side B up, okay? So you can't have a weight. You can also do this without. If you do have a weight, you wanna hold it up overhead, all right? So our first one is gonna be for that side of bleed. So we're just going here. As you come up, you kind of rotate your hips or slowly your hips a little bit. So that's level one. Level two, we'll be going with both legs, all right? So here we go. This is gonna go back on the clock here. Go ahead and begin. I'm just gonna use that one leg first, just so you can kind of see it. I'll go the second leg on that second half. Just going right there. 
Again, I'm feeling this in that top side, oblique as I work through it. Really feel that squeeze, really feel it warming up. So this is going to be, I'm going to do both, both legs. So you can kind of see how I kind of rotate a little bit more to my seat as I go through this, but I still get that oblique as I work through. 10 seconds left. There we go, good. I'm gonna switch around really quick. Go with the opposite side here, doing that same thing, all right? Almost done here. We're gonna get this our last move, and then we're gonna shake some things out once we get done here. Just going right like that. Really feel that squeeze on that side. Good, so I'm just gonna go with both legs. You can get that slight rotation as you go up. There we go, good. So then this next one here, we're just gonna take a moment, do a quick shake out here. So we got through all of our exercises on this one. So with this first one for our legs, call it a hurdle stress. So we just wanna go with our right foot in, left foot out, and we're just gonna hold on to that left leg. So we're just holding on to it, keeping it out, keeping it extended. Easing into your stretch here as you work through. And let's go with the opposite side. So let's go with the opposite side here with that left leg now in, right foot up. Just going down to that right leg or over to that right leg. There we go, good. So now we just want to go with our right arm coming across our body. Here we go. And then let's go with the left arm here now, doing that same thing, going up and across. We're gonna get a bit of a stretch in on these past minutes here. Just before we get going, let's make sure I take care of everything here. Let's do one more thing. So if you're down on the ground, just kind of reaching back, rotate your chest forward so your hands are back. Think about your chest is here. Rotate your chest forward, really try to open up at the chest. Check for this in the arms. And good. Relax, shake some things out. And thanks again, as always, Jackie, for joining. And everyone else that may be tuning in later. But uh, thanks again for everything. Um, have a good rest of your day. Have a good Tuesday. And we will see you in next time. Thank you.